There's one trick that uh, a lot of magicians have performed over the course of time. It's one trick a lot of magicians refuse to perform as well. Because it's the only trick that if it goes wrong, it could really, really go wrong. I'll show you what I mean. We have three cups there. One, two, and three. And another two here. Four and five. Each cup here is empty. Number one is empty. Number two is empty. Number three is empty. And so is number four. However, under number five, it's a solid metal spike. Now the aim of the game is very, very simple. The spectator will place the spike under number one, two, three, four, or five. And it'll be the magician's job, by process of elimination, to find out where that spike is. Simply by banging one's hand down on each. Now, there is no danger to the victim volunteer. <laughs> there is a danger to the So if I may uh, come amongst you for a moment and ask if any of you care to take part in this this evening. You, sir. Yes. What's your name, sir? Amish. Amish, please come to the stage and uh, do give Amish a clap as he comes. Now, as you can see, we have five cups, one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, at the very start, I'd like to confirm you, you can't actually <coughs> see through these <coughs> cups. If you look in front, can you see through them? No. Fantastic. Look through the tops, can you see through them? No. And behind here, can you see through the cups? No. Fantastic. <laughs> now, in a moment's time, I mean, I'd like you to make a decision where you'd like that spike to go, and do confirm that genuinely is a, uh, a solid metal spike. <laughs> yeah. Incidentally, it's a, uh, a meat heat tester. So, if this goes wrong, at least we know what temperature it goes wrong at. <laughs> Amish, what I'd like you to do is decide in a moment's time where you'd like that spike to go under. There. Number one, number two, number three, or number four, number five, okay? Okay. Fantastic. Okay, have you got that in your mind? Got it. Okay. Now, what I'd like you to do is once you've made the decision, pick the cup up, whichever one it may be, and show everyone where you'd like it to go under. So, everyone here gets an idea. Once you've done that, you'll notice an empty space. Place the spike in the empty space and place the cup on top of the spike. Okay, okay. fantastic. So I'm going to look away over to here now. And if you could do me a favour now, any one will do, just tick one up that you feel you'd like to particularly go to. And once you've done that, just show everyone in the audience for me. And the next empty space you have now, place the spike in the empty space. Good. Okay, and now place the cup on top of the spike. Done. Okay. Now, I didn't tell you this for a reason. Now, what I'd like you to do, Amish, is I'd like you to shuffle the cups around, keeping the spike under your chosen cup, but make sure I can't see any particular cup that's been moved. So move all of them around, and then put them back in a linear order. That'd be fantastic. Okay, that's fine. Yes. Fantastic. And for one final time, I'd like you to lift up the cup now to show where you've placed the spike. Can we see that? <laughs> and place the spike back, the cup back down on the spike. Okay. Is it okay for me to turn around now? Yes, you can. Okay. Now again, you can confirm you can't see through these cups at all. No. Fantastic. Then what I'd like you to do, Amish, is um, I'd like you to quickly just count from one to five. Don't give anything away. Just count from one to five out loud. Can you just look at me as you do so? Okay. One, two, okay. three, four, five. Okay. Um, Okay, I'm going to... Okay, uh, right, right. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine which one is under now, and I'm going to count, but look at me as I do so, okay? okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Okay, uh, Misha, I'm going to send you back to your seat for the moment, uh, but thank you for being a fantastic volunteer. Uh, Misha, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> now, at the very beginning, there was a small possibility that you were going to actually hit your hand down on the spike, one in five to be exact. <coughs> Misha, could you say the number five for me out loud? Five. Say one. One. Incidentally, I don't know why I look at my hand after. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 
we have two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, and five. Now, just imagine where it is. Don't tell me. Just simply think it in your head. No. You want to tell me, but don't tell me. <laughs> two, three, four, five. I'm going to say, I don't think it's an under number. Go for number three. It wasn't under number three. <laughs> Two, four, and five left, and keep imagining where it is. If you if you just say the numbers two, four, and five, just very clearly for me, two, four, and five. Sure. Two, four, and five. One more time. Two, four, and five. Fantastic. It's not number five. <laughs> okay, so there's two left, two and four. Now obviously it's 50 50 chance as to which one you've placed it under. And don't give anything away, of course. Um, and if it looks like it's gonna go wrong, don't react at all. <laughs> two, four, two, four. Say the number four for me. Four. Say two. Two.
Ladies and gentlemen, nothing in life is for certain. Not even this. <laughs> <laughs>